Yes, sir. It's your boy Snake Eye. Born first TV check in there, man. Salute to the military. Thank you for rocking with a real one, man. Before we jump into the video, we got some sad news to report. Smash that like button, man. Drop them bombs on that like button, man. R.I.P. to the rapper, one of the drill founders, that boy E-Day, man. And we're going to get into it, man. E-Day. A 32-year-old male victim was outside when he was shot at by an unidentified offender. The victim sustained multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and stomach and was transported to U of C in critical condition. There is no one in custody and Area 1 detectives are investigating. The condition of the victim is subject to change. Well, we already know that RIPE Day, man, has been reported. Uh, multiple members of 600 the internet bloggers everybody's talking about it if you don't know man e day is the brother of c day who got caught up in that whole thing with the cab driver with rondo number nine man you know e day is also um they king op you know not king op but king cooper you know what i'm saying and um uh, you know him and dirt all of them are on the same side but you know a lot of people were saying that you know, E-Day was out the way, Snake. You know what I'm saying? He was driving them trucks. He was staying out the way. But if you if you look, pay attention, E-Day dropped a couple videos here lately. And you know what I'm saying? And anytime you drop video this in the ops, man, you can be away, but we still know what you did last summer type thing. So they still remember him dissing. They still remember all the stuff he used to do. Don't think that you can do something and, and be in this gang culture and diss the ops and do all this beefing and... and you know what I'm saying? Going on drills and nothing going to happen to you, bomb first. They remember all that. And when they catch up with you, they try to catch up with you, if you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, E-Day is one of the founders of this drill movement, man. Six Double O, man, was one of the songs that put 600 on the map. And that was when all the members was out, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it wouldn't be no L.A. Capone take 600. You know what I'm saying? Rondo number nine. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them came up under E-Day. He was the big dog. You know what I'm saying? King Cooper, man. So, you know, I just sad to say, but even though he went actively always in the beef, you know what I'm saying? Because he was away, you know, supposedly driving trucks and he'll pop in, do a video here and there, bomb first, and then you'll hear, you know, E-Day back on the scene, but he wasn't like, you know, dedicated to rapping and dropping mixtapes and um, singles all the time, man. He was doing his thing, so it's just crazy to see that he still got caught up, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just crazy, man. King Cooper, R.I.P., man. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, just wonder, you know, how C-Day feel. Everybody knows C-Day is doing a long stretch, man. He got him and Rondo number nine got them football numbers, and that's his brother, real-life brother, you know what I'm saying? Not just saying his blooder, you know what I'm saying? But that's his real-life brother, man, and I know he got to be going through it. Man, Chirac is losing a lot of people to the violence now, man. And it's just unfortunate because, like I said, King Cooper, he was one of the elder men in the drill scene. You know what I'm saying? 32 years old. If you make it to 25, man, you're an OG in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just saying, you know, if, if the kids don't learn nothing, it's that your past actions can dictate what can happen to you in the future. I know that might sound crazy. Everything lead a past in the past, but people don't, they might forgive, but they don't forget. So in this case, you know what I'm saying? Somebody caught up with them. You know, they say they probably spotted them. You know what I'm saying? He high on the op target. He been taunting these guys for years. Like I said, he one of the founders, man. I really don't like, you know, how he they got down on take 600. You know what I'm saying? They said it was fake paperwork. You know, calling him a snitch or rat. It came out to be fake, debunk that theory. And, you know, it just it just really put a stain on 600. And then with C-Day saying they weren't paying lawyer, Rondo number nine saying people ain't helping them. It just looked real bad for 600. But I just wanted to say RIP to E-Day, man. And uh, do your research on E-Day, man. But uh, it's just unfortunate another young brother in Chicago done lost their life. Man, tell the kids to stay out them streets, man. Get their mind right before they even jump in the streets. Because as we see, 
what you do uh, in your past, you can be your past life and you can be the moved on, but the ops don't forget, man. So they will get up with you, even though it's been years since you've been active in the streets, actively going on drills, you know what I'm saying? This has been Bomb for TV. Man, it's your boy Snake Eye, man. The bomb has been dropped. R.I.P.E. Day. Yes, sir.